Hi there, this is Will with Apex Gaming PCs. In today's tutorial video, we're going to show you exactly how to reseat your CMOS battery on your motherboard. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is that you experience a bad overclocking and need to reset your BIOS's default settings. Or you updated your BIOS version but are experiencing blue screens and other types of crashes. Now, this may be a bit daunting to those first timers, but manufacturers offer multiple ways to reseat the CMOS battery. If you have a high-end motherboard, you may have a clear CMOS button on the back of the motherboard I.O. Make sure that the system is unplugged and press and hold the button for five seconds and restart the system. Then, hit F1 to acknowledge the reset changes. If you don't have a button on the back of the I.O., don't worry. There's another way to clear the CMOS. Open the glass side panel. If no screws are present, then there should be a latch or magnetic release to access the inside of your PC. Next, look at the edge of the motherboard for two pins marked Reset CMOS or Clear CMOS. You can short these pins by using a screwdriver, bridging them together for 15 seconds. Then restart your system. If you don't see the clear CMOS pins on the motherboard, don't worry. This final option should get the job done for sure. Locate the CMOS battery, which looks like a quarter and is embedded in your motherboard. Then push the clip to release it. Make sure to take out the CMOS battery and leave it out for about one to five minutes before reinserting it, like so. If you don't see a CMOS battery, it may be located under your dedicated graphics card. Then you're free to close up your PC and restart your system. Finally, click F1 on the keyboard to continue to Windows or the BIOS. And with that, your BIOS settings should be fully reset. We hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If the problems still persist on your system, please contact our support team at support at apexgamingpcs.com or call 215-565-1069. Thank you.